first of all, before we even get into this video, thank you guys so much for the support on the last video. Seriously, I was not expecting that support at all. Um, I really do appreciate all y'all, the new subscribers, the viewers, everyone that commented. Shout out to every single one of y'all. Can we get this video to, uh, I don't know, let's go for 40 likes. That's just a goal, 40 likes, let's go. But anyway, um, if you're new here, tons of BT4 content coming out, tons of Tenkaichi 4, I'm gonna be playing some of the older games too. I play a lot of Hyper Dragon Ball Z, that's coming back as well. I did not forget about y'all, that game, you know I love that game. But anyway, going into this topic, what are my dynamics? This is Dr. Love, and this is gonna be another Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 4 video, uh, since we don't know the you know official name of the game yet. But here's the thing that I wanna talk about this time, right? And I gotta ask y'all too, if there was one type of game mode just one off the top of your head that you could add into this game from any other Dragon Ball game that, that was like an exclusive. A game mode from Budokai, from Budokai Tenkaichi, Raging Blast, Battle of Z even, Ultimate Tenkaichi, anything. If you could add one game mode from any of those and put it into this game, what would it be? Me personally? I mean, there's a few. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make some more videos on them. There's a few, but one that I just really thought of as I was looking down the list of Tenkaichi games was 2v2s. Dude, there's literally a Dragon Ball game that came out on the PSP um, back in like 2010, 11, something like that. It was, it was like around that time. I, I think it might have been 2010. But anyway, um, it's literally Budokai Tenkaichi. Uh, the gameplay is like a, like pretty similar to Budokai Tenkaichi 3. There's like a, some minor changes, but overall, it's pretty much BT3 gameplay, um, you know, with PSP controls. And it's 2v2. You can do 1v1s, you can v2v1s, 1v2s, you know, in the game, but the whole game is like 2v2 based, which in my opinion is actually pretty cool. It works out. Like, Xenoverse, you know, you can do 2v2s. Battle of Z was mainly like, what, like 4v4 or something like that, but like you could do 2v2s. Those games, like the combat is a little more made for that, whereas in Kaichi, the combat's like made for 1v1s, right? But you can do. 2v2s like it works out if you've never played Budokai Tenkai uh, I mean, I'm sorry if you've never played Tenkaichi tag team before I recommend it it's a super fun game uh, the character roster is not nearly as big as Tenkaichi 3 so don't expect that um, but it, it's still really fun it has like a lot of the, the, the staple characters in the game you know what I mean and it's super cool uh, I like it a lot I really do think that Budokai Tenkaichi can work in a 2v2 setting now 3v3s I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like, 3v3, that might be doing a little too much, in my personal opinion. Like, I'd just be cool with a 2v2. And, I, and I'm not saying that, like, I want the whole game to be 2v2. Or even, like, if there were, like, some story mode missions that were 2v2. If it was, like, you know, Kid Gohan and Krillin versus, I don't know, like, uh, some of the Frieza soldiers or something like that. Or, you know, just things like that. That'd be cool. Or, like, you know, uh, Goku and Piccolo versus Raditz. If that was a 2v, 2v1 fight, that would be super cool, in my opinion. I just think stuff like that would be dope, or like, you know, Yamcha, and I don't know, like, Krillin or Tien versus, like, the Cybermen, or like, you know, all of them versus Nappa, stuff like that would be cool in this game, right? It, like, again, it's not a staple, not a necessity for the story mode, but it would be cool. Now, for actual PvP, I do think that it should be a specific mode, though. I don't think that it should just be, like, a default. Like, I think that the game should focus on 1v1s, but also just have a game mode where it's like, you know, if you want to do 2v2, you want to do Tenkaichi Tag Team style, you can. I mean, like, again, you don't have to, but it's there. If you have played Tenkaichi Tag Team, do you think I'm spitting right now? You think I'm you think I'm, I'm just talking a bunch of nonsense? You think this is a stupid idea? You think this is a dope idea? Let me know down below, because not a lot of people play Tenkaichi Tag Team, but for the most part, uh, at least from what I've seen, the people that did play it actually really did like it, so... Uh, I liked it a lot. It was a cool game. It had a lot of cool what-ups in the story mode. You know, the gameplay obviously was nice, too. Um, but sometimes I did just feel like doing a 1v1, not gonna lie to you. But, like, when the 2v2 was there, it was there. So, in my opinion, I think that BT4 could definitely, you know, uh, benefit from this. Just because sometimes you want to hang out with, like, what, what, what... Dude, like, think about it, man. Imagine if it's just you, right? And you have one of your homies, and there's like a group of people talking smack, and two of them hop on the game at the same time, and now it's you and your friend versus both of them. Now, just so y'all know, in case you haven't played Tenkaichi Tag Team, uh, some things are a little bit different than Xenoverse, like, and it, even in Battle of Z, like, not everything is, well, it's everything, it's, most things are real time. I'll explain. So, uh, when someone transforms, <clears throat> excuse me, when someone transforms, that stops the game and shows a cutscene. When someone, certain ultimate attacks, you know, uh, stop the whole game, shows a cutscene, you know. If someone, if there's a beam struggle, uh, both players have to participate in the struggle, which is pretty cool to see if, you know, whoever, how much damage is done. 
or just to like see who actually wins the beam struggle like both people have to participate it's like super dope uh so stuff like that is a thing and then also in terms of like if someone does like a rushing super attack those two characters just kind of like disappear while the animation plays for them and then the other two people that people that are fighting they just continue their fight so that's how that is i like that system overall could it be tweaked a little bit probably but in my personal opinion like listen man the ps5 can handle it i'm sure the netcode won't be like the best in the world but i don't think it'll be trash and like that so it, it'll probably be passable you know so i definitely think that this could work in the game um and i i definitely also see a lot of people playing it to be real with you because like a lot not, not a lot of people really talk about it like that but one of the best things that people did like about battle of z was the fact that you could do like 2v2s 3v3s 4v4s right even in xenoverse you can do up to 3v3s everybody loves that 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 you know plays the game now not everybody actually does 2v2s or 3v3s like myself included i i'm gonna be real with you i rarely do it in xenoverse just because you know but the, my, my main thing as to well my main reason as to why i don't in xenoverse is because of the hit detection in the net code which is just like you know it makes it not fun and it's, it's it, you know but i think with tenkaichi tag team's style it is like it's it's less hard to get ganged up on but it's also like can be just as hard at the same time but you know i feel like the way that the game's kind of designed is that you can definitely um probably survive a little bit longer doing a 2v1 versus something like xenoverse but at the same time you know if it's gonna be 2v2 make an actual 2v2 not like a 1v2 or something like that unless it's like a, a boss or something plus bro at the same time dude giants are in are gonna well I, I, okay let me not confirm nothing because we don't know but giants will most likely be playable in tenkaichi 4 so imagine 2v2s with grade 8 fascia grade 8 bardock haruda garn and like uh who else is a giant i don't know like orange piccolo bro that'd be dope you can't tell me that wouldn't be dope like come on now that's just that that's super cool like you could do a beast go on an orange piccolo versus like I don't know whoever like that would just be dope that's why i personally think that 2v2s in the game would be cool as a thing like i said 3v3s and 4v4s like nah that's just doing too much but a 2v2 i dig it personally and i think the game can handle it it could just be a game mode in there nothing too crazy that's my opinion let me know what y'all think about that idea though in the comment section below i do thank y'all for watching this video and if you did enjoy it be sure to leave a like down below i really do appreciate it and be sure to subscribe if you do want to see more budokai to catch you for videos because like i'm just letting y'all know i'm 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 gonna be talking about this game a lot man because like this is this is the biggest this is arguably the biggest piece of dragon ball game hype that we've gotten since like the xenoverse one days and those are hard to beat you know what i mean so this is crazy but i actually really do think that this could work like i said do i think it'll be in the game um eh, probably not but like it would just be cool you know if it was there i wouldn't complain and i'd probably advocate for people to play it to be honest with you that's all i'm saying so anyway thank y'all for watching again i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one and yeah.